Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from 4.2 million rolls pretty much on Roblox Anime Card Battle. So first things first, we're going to go over to the card index over here. I do have 127 out of 130 rolls. Um, the rewards are pretty much the same. Sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's better. I don't know what's beyond that, so all these question mark cards. I'm assuming it's either Made in Heaven cards, some Isekai cards, and stuff like that. Um, next thing we're going to check out is our inventory. But before we check out inventory, for anybody that hasn't watched my previous videos, I'm going to tell you guys what my luck is. I have 4.1 luck now on the bottom right. I have Roblox Premium. I also have the plus 15 luck author's note charm from the Heavens Arena. I have Super VIP, I have VIP, and I also have the Border Pass, if I can find it real quick. I have the Border Pass as well. I also have the Speed thing, which doesn't really affect your luck. It just helps the, when you play the game a lot. Uh, but we're going to go right into the inventory now. This is my support deck. I do have six guns now because I'm, I'm on Dark Pack currently. I'm trying to get Silver Phantom. Um, I have seven Grief Seeds. I have just one Truck Gun, 17 Little Saws, 145 Idols. 36 Hero Swords, 1 Crimson Thorn, 2 Script Geekters, 7 Slug Medics, which was an exclusive event back in the day to where you can't get it anymore. Um, and then the rest is just pretty much the, the basic cards, just bulk of them. Uh, but if we go over to my inventory, I do have a bunch of new cards, guys. I have Shinobi God. I have two Shinobi Gods, actually. Funny thing is, I actually rolled him during an Infinite Tsukiyomi. Um, I, didn't, I don't remember. I don't think I got him from Infinite. Uh, I think I just rolled him. But I have two of them. I have him on my team with Grief Seed because currently he doesn't work. Still, he freezes my battles on Kirito, Boros, Timeless Sage, and stuff like that. And I do have that Gold Cypher still. I have uh, 11,264 HP, 3,380 damage. Same as the Shinobi God, but uh, I, my, I still average, like with this team, I still average like floor. I would say 600 and below, sometimes 600 plus. I have Armor Maiden now, the gold version, 5,632 HP. 2816 damage i still have the mob i ha I pulled another universal goku so that's pretty cool um i cleared like the maharaga raid with goku and max leaders like really quick i pulled a slime king 700 mil i crafted a nail master 550 mil so that took a that was quite a journey to craft that one but it is a pretty cool card to have uh we put an aladdin i ended up crafting another mana exile and then i also pulled a mana exile um, I crafted another rubber boy. I pulled the e uh, limited event exclusive Universal Warrior, uh, the Gold Jaren, 3,920 HP, 1,960 damage. I still don't use them on my team because um, the people who I have in my team, I think, are my, the best people for my deck. I have experimented with a bunch of different teams, and it did just get me to the same floor. Um, I still have the Water Hashira. Uh, I pulled Gilgamesh. I pulled a lot of Sabres, 250 mil. Pulled an Inferno Bugalist. Uh, and pulled another Cat Burglar. Um, besides that, I spend pretty much just basic pools here, more 125 mil, um, luckless hero pools, stuff like that, Crimson Demon, uh, I put a lot more 100 mil cards as well, um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I'm just going to scroll down here and show you guys the rest of my inventory here, and stuff like that, but that's pretty much uh, my top pools there, I put a lot of golden return for some reason, I now have 6, I'm pretty sure in the last video I had like 1, um, I pulled Black Swordsman as well from the Eclipse Weather, the 10 mil card, I didn't pull another Eclipse card, but I do have him. I did pull a Sailor Moon, surprisingly. I don't use her in my team. Honestly, I haven't tried her out on my team to see how she would do. Um, 63 Gold Max Leaders, so I'm getting pretty close to crafting a Rainbow one eventually. But I do think if I put him on my team, it's going to help me out a lot. I pulled a Abyssal Monarch. I don't use him. Um, if I get a Gold version, I will use him because he'll get me past like floor 1000 plus. And then, besides that, all the evolution cards I showed in my last video, but for the people who haven't watched the video, I'll show them for you guys right now. I pulled a Golden Warrior. I'm just going to hold on top of it so you guys can pause it. Um, I pulled Lord of Destruction, ex exclusive card. I have 19 of him. Um, I'm also about to craft my Rainbow 700 mil Slime King. Um, here's the ever Max Reaper. Uh, normal card is the Substitute Reaper. This is the Beast of Vengeance. Wild Child is the normal card. Um, I'm going to go down here. I pulled a Flicker God as well. I don't use him, obviously. I pulled, uh, so this one is interesting. I pulled a Made in Heaven Sly King doing one of my uh, Made in Heaven spawned weathers from the developers. Um, so every now and then the, the developers spawn the active content creators like weathers and they spawn me two Made in Heaven. So I ended up getting a Sly King, um, yeah, Sly Snake. I, stole, I, I tried him out in my team. 
I still get the same floors, sometimes even less. So I'm just gonna sit out and uh, not put them in my in my deck or in my team for my infinite floors. So that's something unfortunate, but hopefully next time we get a better pool for that. We pulled some frosty fighters. Uh, we have the red haired swordsman exclusive cards as well. Here's the ever uh, evolution card frog hermit right here. Here is two star warriors that I pulled during the galaxy that I I also don't use, but I do use them for raids. They're really good for clearing the Garo boss. Crimson Jet exclusive, not exclusive, um, evolution card. Dawnbringer from Demon Slayer, Tanjiro. Uh, more Sonic Rushers exclusive, but I have the gold version of this, as you guys saw earlier, but the regular version, I have 38 of him, surprisingly. So that's pretty crazy. I do have seven Heroic Traders now. This is the, I think, I believe this is the second to last evolution card, Thunder, Th Thunder Phantom. Um, I have the Radiant Royal, which should be the last evolution card over here. Um, in my personal opinion, I do believe the Thunder Phantom is the best for speed wave clearing. For example, you're going to want to put your best card first with Truck Gun and then have him die into it to where he'll start speed run a couple hundred floors for you. I have four Gold Sacred Hearts, six Wandering Samurais, and I believe I have 34 Phantom Edges. Uh, other base uh, weather cards that are good, I have 21 Nulls as well. But pretty much, guys, it's my inventory. I'm just going to go to my normal over here. I haven't crafted in like a week. So if you want to just skip over my normal, I have 401,000 princes. I have 400,000 Ichigos and stuff like that. I haven't crafted those because it, uh, there's really just no need for me to craft them at all. Uh, those are my normals. Then these are my golds. I'll go over here. I'll start up and then I'll go down a little bit. You guys can pause it as you feel free to pause. It's up to you. These are my uh, rainbows over here. I do have some pretty good rainbows. Um, surprisingly, I'm at 4.7 million rolls and I still haven't rolled Anything over one bill, you could count the boss cards to have the HP of a 10 bill card, but the damage is still like a one bill card, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is what it is. A boss card like that is still good, you know? These are my universals. I did craft the majority of these. Um, I think I crafted the Wild Child. I pulled the Reaper. I pulled the... I, no, I crafted this, and I crafted this. I pulled that. But other than that, I crafted a majority of that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much my inventory showcase. If you guys have any questions, just leave it down below in the description. There's not much else to show. That's pretty much everything I have from my last video. I believe it was 3 million rolls to 4 point something million rolls. So if you guys are curious on what I got and the difference from those uh, in-between rolls, just check out the last video. I'll put it at the end of the video here. So for anybody that's wondering how I'm getting all these cards at 4 point something million rolls, honestly, the big difference was just getting the plus 15 luck charm. But another thing I can recommend to you guys that's going to help you guys out a lot is when you go to the Heavens Arena and you go over to the Infinite Floor section, you're going to want to do your Infinite Floors. And towards the end of your Infinite Floor, you're going to want to pop a Luck Potion 3, your Corrupt Star Potion 3, and your Corrupt Potion, and the Boss Potion. So that's pretty much the mo main reason how I got these cards. Other than that, uh, it does take you forever, and you're most likely not going to see even half of what I have here. That I w that's one of the things I would recommend. The second thing I would recommend is when there is a good weather popped, for example, Isekai and above, Isekai, um, Galaxy Eclipse, Manga, Made in Heaven, stuff like that. You're going to want to pop your potions, and you're also going to want to end your infinite floor during those weathers. Now, you could also end it during any weather you want. It's just preferably on what cards you want. But I would just I, I would just recommend to end your floors during weathers all the time. Ending it during a non-weather is kind of trolling yourself. But obviously, if you're doing AFK overnight, you're not gonna be able to doing you're not gonna be able to end it during a weather unless you have certain macros and stuff like that on in the game. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.